Dr. Smith at? Where's Dr. Smith? Tell me now. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? These incidents are on the rise. It's important to think about options you may have in your workspace, prepare a little bit, be aware to take action should something happen. First and foremost, you have to consider the fact that you may be responsible for a patient. And so figuring out, do I need to lock down and stay where I'm at with that patient? Or is there a way that I can get myself and that patient out? And so that's what makes the ER or a clinical setting very different than like um, an office setting is you have to take in consideration somebody else's life as well as yours. Okay, we're gonna start an IV in here, okay? Alice is alert, locked down, inform, counter, and evacuate. Alice just simply provides options. We don't have to do any one thing. We don't have to do all things. We want to do what's best for us in the moment to survive. So no matter where you work, uh, alert is simple. Alert is getting out information that something bad is happening as quickly as possible to as many people as possible. This is Mercy ER. We have a man with a gun in the ER. We need some help now. Right now. That could be simply using your voice, um, yelling. That could be picking up a phone if you're in a safe place to do so and sending a text or making a phone call. Lockdown would happen if you get stuck in a situation where you have to stay in a room. We're gonna give you some fluids, sir. I'll get you feeling better. What's going on? We got it. What's going on? Over here. Again, what's unique about having a patient, specifically the scenario we had today, was the patient is in a bed. And so what the nursing staff did was they actually pushed the bed over in front of the door. They locked the wheels, which is a very smart thing to do. The patient was in the bed, and at first that may not look right, but the fact of the matter is you all may not have time to get the patient out of the bed before you block the door. But then you notice that Ethan then removed the patient from the bed and moved to a different part of the room away from the door. He then armed himself with a counter device or a weapon. And at that point, you're just, you're trying to survive. You're trying to find anything and everything you can to either throw or swing at someone, the person who's trying to get in that room to hurt you and your patient. So evacuate is always the preferred response. So if for some reason you're present where there is an active intruder, active shooter, or active killer, if at any time you can get out of that situation, you should leave that situation. Something that's very important to know is you want to take care of yourself. So if you cannot alert or inform your coworkers or 911, you need to get out or you need to do whatever's best for you. And so it just provides options and you need to decide what works best for you in that moment.